Good morning. Let's see uh, where we were yesterday. So we have goals that are being created. Um, we have a measurement set. Um, but I believe we have a little problem with the numeric inputs, the number inputs. I think both of them are able to go ahead. And I think I know the fix for that. Um, you can imagine that someone might want to put in a measurement that's like I did yesterday of uh, like I wanted to put in 185.4, but that's not going to be allowed. Um, so I need to fix that up. Hopefully that should be a pretty easy one. Let's open up the IDE. So, um, where have we got stuff? We've got it in two places. We have it in the add goal component because we've got measurement. So I believe all we need to do is say that the step is any. It's even recommending it there. I've done a bit of a wrapping now. That's great. Just uh, force the issue. Keep it nice and tidy. Okay. Oh, it's pushing out again. Why is it doing that? Interesting. Okay, don't really care. That's fine. Oh, and in the goal input, we should have a value. Well, okay, save that compile. And deploy to my three little servers there. Quick refresh. So in theory, I should be able to pin them up on one. Yep. Two. That's fine. Okay. That's good. Okay, let's just, just save that off. Uh, fix number inputs not allowing decimal values. Okay. That's good. Right, so next job. Um, so we've got basically add goal working, it's doing its thing, um, but we do not have a way of editing a goal. So now that I've, um, that's another matter, but it'd be nice to be able to say, oh, actually I want to change the date or the description or whatever. 
Um, and I've got no means of doing that at the moment. So there's a couple of things here. I need to create a backend service that allows the edit. Um, and then I need to do something on the front end to get us to an edit page and obviously write that little edit, edit goal page as well. So let's start with a quick service. Uh, we'll switch back. Um, let's close these two off. Uh, we'll switch into the server. So we're going to create a new service. So we've got add goal there. Uh, let's uh, do edit goal, I think. Yeah. I was wondering there whether I should actually switch to using um, a different way of naming things to be more sort of standard, like create, read, update, delete. But that's that's actually something I'm using for the the private functions, so maybe I'll not. I'll leave it. Edit go. Oops. Hey. This. Maybe I should keep the same kind of yeah. Updates a goal. That'll do. Okay. It's going to be very similar to add goal. So We'll just take a copy of that. Rename those new ones. So we're going to, okay, well, let's start with the, the input. It goes request object for by the member ID is wanting to whose goal is the it. Oops.
Now we need a goal ID, which would be very similar to that. And we'll put that after the token. Take a goal ID. Goal ID is the ID of the goal that is being edited. Goal ID coming in. So we've got member, token, which is the authentication stuff we need to do on every request. We've got a goal ID. Um, and then we should be able to update the verb, the value, prefix, suffix, end date and reason, but we do not want to take a measurement or date taken. They're purely for the add goal. We don't need notes either, because that's all measurement stuff. And then on the edit goal, Goal is the newly edited. Oh, that doesn't sound right. The newly updated goal. Hmm. I wonder if I should switch to saying update. Okay. Can always change it later. Updated goal is successful. Now just return the entire goal. And I'll include all the date stuff and so on. Do not want Do we need measurements? Would that be handy? It would be handy because I, I know that on my front, front end I'm storing all the measurements as a property of the goals. at the moment but that might change and then it's easy to merge it in and it does mean it's up to date as well I'll keep them. Measurements is an array of measurements for the updated goal. Token string, yep, we need that because in my authentication method, I can update the token on any response so that it has to be um, so it basically rotates it keeping it fresh okay so that's that then so we have 
have an edit goal response. And we have an edit goal request, which has the member ID, token ID. Yep, I think that's okay. Uh, so before I update the API, I'll just generate this skeleton service for that. And I think I've got a... Um, we've got a generate. Nah, no, it doesn't matter. I'll just do a make. I don't want to... I'll do the go generate straight away. Yep, so expected that. Now it's basically telling me I need to implement the goal monitor services for. Edit goal. Yep. Okay. So it's going to be similar to add goal, but with no measurement stuff. Okay, edit go. Updates a new goal for a oh, updates a goal for a member. So we're taking in the usual context and then we are taking in a generated edit goal request which should have been resolved now shows all the stuff and we're going to send back an edit goal response and standard token validation Uh, we still haven't done any kind of proper validation of the goals, inputs, and so on. I didn't do that for ad. Um, is there any sort of prepared statements at the moment that are making sure it's safe? But um, I think at some point we might put in some little sort of sanity checks for the values and so on. But it depends. I mean, it should be pretty relaxed as long as it's the right type of value. Okay. Uh, we might not need the transaction stuff because we're not. So not updating measurements. But it doesn't really harm. I'll leave it in for the moment. Okay, we need a edit goal. We 
also need to do a quick sanity check that the goal exists. So do we do that? We'll do that before we start the transaction and try and update it. So that will be part of our little validation there. Yeah, okay. Right, first things first. Let's um, take this as a template for the next bit. That's fine. We'll do update goal. Updates a goal. Don't need to save for member because that is going to be implied and validated previously. We are passing in a goal ID. The value, prefix, suffix, end date, reason. Hmm. Yeah, I was just wondering whether I should return the goal or not, like I do in the create. It's important in the create. But in the update, yeah, we should, because we're still going to have updated values. And we need to, because we'll be setting the update to that. Yeah, okay. Which form should I use? Is there a preference with uh, Postgres? Stroke cockroach. I tend to use the set and then individual. My internet slow today. Right data, update data. Let's see what Cockroach suggests. Okay. Hmm. 
that's good. My my usual form, so that's not that's okay. Fine. Now, I presume I can use returning. Although it's not, it's nothing, nothing new to return. Hmm. So I might be okay. Yeah, okay. What I could probably do So I'm in two minds as to whether I should always return No, I'm setting I'm setting everything so I can just return what I'm hopefully successfully updating with. And then I don't need to do any extra day stuff and things. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh wait, so Let's do, we need Abacos, do that one.
So we're going to update them. And the updated at. D equals dollar eight. So we have the verb, the value, prefix, suffix, end date, reason, I could do the returning to make sure that the creator data is returned as well. In fact, I will be expecting a complete goal. Hmm, I could actually be passing a goal in here and in the API. It's not like with the create. And again, this at least sets all the values as they should be. And it's very explicit in what's required. I could pass in the member ID as well. That would achieve two things. One, I can validate by getting the goal in here, making sure that the goal ID and the member ID match. Hmm. But I could also require a goal and then updatable values. 
include a member. We could maybe move a mem a move a goal from one member to another. Don't think that's gonna happen. That would be a very unique requirement. Decisions, decisions. Okay, let's I think I'm going to pass in the member ID as well and use that as part of a validation check there where I grab the current goal. If that fails, Although this is kind of low level. Let's keep it low level. Keep thinking ahead to other things I know I'm going to have to do. Yeah, no. And then we're good. I think um, if we update the core values, and just use I could update the number this would be a low level Validation should be outside of this. This is going to be a low level one. Yeah, okay.
gonna adjust things a bit here as well. I'm gonna pass in. Uh, that shouldn't be called goal ID. That should be just ID. Because we're talking about goal. ID. Remember ID. Oops. So we're going to pass in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we need an updated at. Which we'll be able to take from the new goal. Do we return the goal still? Hmm. I still can't make up my mind on that because this is a low level function. You should just say, yeah, I did it. Or oh, no, I didn't. But it does also need to return updated at. Or could. Doesn't have to. If I just return yeah your nay, won't be chucking around data that might not need to. design in an API on the fly. So many different ways you can do it. Okay. 
if it was there in the edit goal I could actually use a standard function to go get the goal with all its measurements as validation that everything worked and potentially that could be an optional it could be like yeah I want the goal back thanks or not which saves some queries if we don't care Okay. Yep. I think I've made a decision. I think what we're going to do is just take Yeah, just take the data. And return an error. Otherwise, assume everything's okay. Let's make it easier. So, do I not do that? Oh yeah, I don't need to do any of that if I do that. That was my garage, if you can hear that. Yeah, we'll do... Pass in all the things. And we will not scan. ID fab five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good there. I don't know why that's doing that. Don't need to do 
any of this then. And I do not understand this. Cannot use a typo as the oh, because I'm doing a query. I'm not don't want to do a query. Do an execute. And no, it doesn't like it. Why is that? Pick the wrong thing. Don't need anything back from it. Just not being used. Okay. It's the time. Oh, I'm out of time already. Okay, I've got to go. Uh, so we have only created the update goal function. Haven't tested it or anything like that. Um, but we know we need to use it in here. To do. Uh, check goal is don't go check. Okay, stuff for tomorrow. Okay, right, I've got to go. Um, so uh, until next time, uh, take care.